shout the glad tidings exultingly, sing Jerusalem triumphs, Messiah is King. Zion, the marvelous story be telling, the Son of the Highest, how lowly his birth, the brightest archangel in glory excelling, he stoops to redeem the reigns upon earth. Well, shout the glad tidings, exultingly sing, Jerusalem triumphs, Messiah is king. Tell how he cometh from nation to nation, the heart-cheering news let the earth echo round. How free to the faithful he offers salvation, his people with joy everlasting are crowned. Well, shout the glad tidings exultingly sing, Jerusalem triumphs, Messiah is King. Mortals, your homage be gratefully bringing, and sweet let the gladsome Tatsanas rise, ye angels, the full alleluia be singing one chorus resound through the earth and the skies well shout the glad tidings exultingly sing jerusalem triumphs messiah is king Messiah is King. Yes, Messiah. We are about to celebrate, aren't we? Hallelujah to the Lamb. Well, welcome to each and every one of you to the reading of the Word of God. I pray, Holy Spirit, you will come and you will open every ear, including mine, every ear, every eye, every heart to understand and you will bring revelation upon this beautiful perfect word of god that we might be fed fed fully prepared not only for the day but for the coming year for all kinds of things for better relationships better uh, new friends new friends to meet people to bring to the lord Oh, hallelujah. Let's be about our Father's business. Well, on this December 24, woo-wee, we're almost here. On this December 24, we will continue on reading in Zechariah chapter 6 and 7. Okay, 6 and 7. And this chapter starts out here telling about the horses, the horses that are coming. And then he's still uh, conversing with this angel. This angel's telling him what's going on, okay? And then we move on to further in the story. And then I, Zechariah, turned, and I raised my eyes and looked, and behold, four chariots were coming from between two mountains, and the mountains were mountains of bronze. I mean, I tried to picture that. You know, bronze, when the sun is shining out, it is just, it's glorious. Can you imagine two mountains of bronze? And here comes this chariot of four horses in the air. With the first chariot were red horses. With the second chariot, black horses. With the third chariot, white horses. And with the fourth chariot, dappled horses, strong steeds. And then I answered and I said to the angel who talked with me, What are these, my Lord? And the angel answered and said to me, These 
are the four spirits of heaven. How about that answer? Four. Four spirits of heaven who go out from their station before the Lord of all the earth. The one with the black horses is going to the north country. The white are going after them. And the dappled are going toward the south country. And then the strong steeds went out eager to go, that they might walk to and fro throughout the earth. And he said, go, walk to and fro throughout the earth. So they walked to and fro throughout the earth. And he called to me and spoke to me and saying, See, those who go toward the north country have given rest to my spirit in the north country. Isn't that a beautiful statement? They've given rest. And then the word of the Lord came to me saying, Receive the gift from the captives, from Heldai, Tobiah, and Yadiah, who have come from Babylon. How about that? And go the same day and enter the house of Josiah, the son of Zephaniah. Take the silver and gold, make an elaborate crown, and set it on the head of Yeshua, the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and then speak to him, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, saying, Behold, the man whose name is the branch. And in this version, every letter of the word branch is capitalized. Capitalized. The man whose name is Branch. From his place, he shall branch out and he shall build the temple of the Lord. Yes, he shall build the temple of the Lord. He shall bear the glory and shall sit and rule on his throne. So he shall be a priest on his throne and the council of peace shall be between them both. Now the elaborate crown shall be for a memorial in the temple of the Lord for Helem, Tobiah, Yediah, and Hen, the son of Zephaniah. Zephaniah, which one? Even those from afar shall come and build the temple of the Lord. And then you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. And this shall come to pass if, well, we have a condition mentioned here, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God. Ooh, let's drink that one in for ourselves. If we diligently obey the voice of the Lord. All right, we move right along to chapter 7 of Zechariah. Now, in the fourth year of King Darius, so time moves forward, it came to pass that the word of the Lord came to Zechariah on the fourth day of the ninth month, Chislev, when the people sent Sherezer with Regimelech and his men to the house of God to pray before the Lord and to ask the priests who were in the house of the Lord of hosts and the prophets saying, should I weep in the fifth month and fast as I have done for so many years? How about that question? We could ask ourselves that question. And then the word of the Lord of hosts came to me, saying, Say to all the people of the land and to the priests, When you fasted and mourned 
in the fifth and seventh months during those 70 years, did, did you really fast for me? For me? When you eat and when you drink, do you not eat and drink for yourselves? Should you not have obeyed the words which the Lord proclaimed through the former prophets when Jerusalem and the cities around it were inhabited and prosperous? Which makes me think that they aren't now. They aren't prosperous now. And the south and the lowland were inhabited. And so are we saying that they aren't now? And we're also saying, they are asking, should they continue on doing this that they've done? Fasted, fasting, fasting's a good thing. Fasted, okay, 70 years, the whole time they're in captivity. And the Lord is saying, but didn't you, didn't you do a lot of that just for yourself? And you're trying to tell me that you did it for me. I mean, they're trying to they're trying to tell the living God who knows all motives, who reads all thoughts in the mind. Let's continue on. And then the word of the Lord came to Zechariah saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts. Now here's what he wants them to do. Execute true justice. Show mercy and compassion, everyone to his brother. Do not oppress the widow or the fatherless, the alien or the poor. Let none of you plan evil in his heart against his brother. And you know what the next line has to say? But they refused to heed, shrugged their shoulders, and stopped their ears so that they could not hear. Yes, they made their hearts like flint, refusing to hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts had sent by his spirit through the former prophets. Thus, great wrath came from the Lord of hosts. Therefore it happened that just as he proclaimed and they would not hear, so they called out and I would not listen. My oh my, can you and I learn this for the coming year? And get into the kind of obedience that we've never done before. That is my desire. I hope it's yours. But I scattered them, the Lord says, with a whirlwind among all the nations which they had not known. Thus the land became desolate after them. So there, <clears throat> that question is answered right in the word. The land became desolate, so that no one passed through or returned, for they made the pleasant land desolate. Desolate is a, is a very hard word. Desolate. Ugh. I mean, you can just name everything. The land, the air, the crops, the people, the hearts. Desolate, desolate. We have an opportunity, y'all, <clears throat> where we live, what, whatever country you're hearing from, to cause our countries to be more alive in Christ, right? More alive. <clears throat> Getting out there more. Speaking up about the Lord Jesus more. Offering people for salvation. You know, 
but I'd like to I'd like to give the Lord great great praise I, I tell you witness from last night in my life every year our family has an annual evening right before Christmas and we <clears throat> we have other family friends and the whole bunch rents out this nice bowling alley and we have an annual bowling party and um, I was headed for the restroom I was going to tend to some of my little sores here that I'm getting over <clears throat> from shingles and I am so much better thank you for your prayers thank you thank you thank you and uh, I stopped uh, to speak to a, a young friend that I knew very well, and he had a friend with him that I didn't know. Conversation turned towards this young man's uh, mother. Uh, Helen is in the hospital, and he's so hoping they'll let him bring her home for Christmas. And so it ended up, I, I said, well, well let, let, let's pray about that. Let's pray about that. that you'll, and so we prayed. And we said amen to that, the three of us, standing in this hallway. And then I just took his hand, and I said, um, do you know Jesus? And he kind of hung his head. And I said, well, pray this prayer, and, 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 and don't pray anything you don't agree with. If, if I say something that you don't agree with, just don't say it. Just, just only say what your heart will agree with. And right there. In the bowling alley hallway, he was totally born again. His whole countenance changed. And he talked and he talked. Y'all, let's look for these opportunities in 2022. Let's turn ordinary little places and walks and things into salvation moments changes all right I just I just had to share with you I'm, I'm not trying to preach I, I just want to share I just want to inspire you okay all right let's move right along to Revelation chapter 15 Ooh, another great great chapter here then I saw another sign in heaven great and marvelous seven angels having the seven last plagues. And can you imagine the calling that marvelous? Well, it was astounding. Having the seven last plagues, for in them the wrath of God is complete. Well, that's the good news, isn't it? Complete. Finished. Not going to do things that way anymore. <clears throat> and I saw something like a sea of glass mingled with fire. And those who have the victory over the beast, over his image, and over the mark, and over the number of his name, standing on the sea of glass, having harps of God. Well, that is a marvelous sign. When you and I love to see a sea of glass, and all of these had victory, victory over that beast, they sing the song of Moses, Moshe, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. And here's what they sang. Great and marvelous are your works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways. O King of the saints, who shall not fear you, O Lord, and glorify your name? You alone are holy. Holy, for all nations shall come and worship before you. They're singing this. For your judgments have been manifested. And after these things I looked, and behold, 
the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened. And out of the temple came the seven angels, having the seven plagues, clothed in pure bright linen, and having their chests girded with golden bands. And then one of the four living creatures gave to the seven angels seven golden bowls full of the wrath of God, who lives forever and ever. The temple was filled with smoke from the glory, the glory of God, and from his power. And no one was able to enter the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were completed. Wow. You talk about a powerful bunch of events saved and written in the Word of God for you and me to have today. Oh, my. Oh, my. All right, we move right along. Connie's beat me right uh, so so sweetly, letting you know, in case you did miss hearing me say it, Psalm 143, 143, another Psalm of David. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give, give ear to my supplications. In your faithfulness, answer me. And in your righteousness, do not enter into judgment with your servant, for in your sight, no one living is righteous. For the enemy has persecuted my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness like those who have long been dead. Therefore, my spirit is overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is distressed. I remember the days of old. I, I meditate on all your works. I muse on the work of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul longs for you like a thirsty land. Oh my, can we all say that we can identify with those words? Do you feel like that? Sometimes I feel like that. But it's particularly the last line, I long for him like a thirsty land. Answer me speedily, O oh Lord. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, lest I be like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning. And aren't we, though? <clears throat> we are hearing his loving kindness. For in you do I trust. Cause me to know the way in which I should walk. For I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. In you I take shelter. Teach me to do your will. For you are my God. Your spirit is good. Lead me in the land of uprightness. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. In your mercy, Cut off my enemies and destroy all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Oh my, is that not a glorious, glorious song? Wow, I just feel mm, like I just ate something delicious.
And we did, didn't we? All right, we wrap it all up, y'all, with Proverbs chapter 30, verses 24 through 28. Proverbs 30, 24 through 28. There are four things which are little on the earth, but they are exceedingly wise. Exceedingly wise. And, and I, the first time you read this, you're amazed at what the Lord chooses <laughs> as wise. The ants, the ants crawling on the ground are a people not strong, yet they prepare their food in the summer. They're wise. Get ready for winter, right? The rock badgers are a feeble folk, yet they make their home homes in the crags. Great choice, isn't it? Protective. The locusts have no king, yet they all advance in ranks. The locusts. The spider skillfully grasps with its hands, and it is in king's palaces. Oh, I love that last line. <laughs> Spiders, they find themselves walking in wherever they want to, don't they? Praise God. Well, there's your wisdom for the day, okay? <laughs> oh, I think there's some sweet little humor there, too. Well, y'all, before we pray, if, if, I, if some of you, everybody's going to be maybe on the road or you're headed for your celebrations... I wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. Let's make this Christmas truly worshiping the Lord Jesus. It's his birthday. It's his birthday. He is our gift. He is our gift. If you haven't had a time when somebody asks you, have you ever asked the Lord Jesus into your heart? And right away we want to say, well, yeah, yeah, we go to church, yeah, we, and, and we have, we answer things that we know, and we did. But a lot of times, that's just, we walk in a church and we, we just join in, but there never was a time for a personal commitment. Receive Jesus as your life-changing gift this year. And how do you do that? Let me say a prayer like I did with that young man last night. <clears throat> Whatever you don't agree with that I say, don't, just don't say it. Say what you can agree with. And here's the prayer. Could you pray along with me, please? And receive the greatest gift you'll ever receive. Let's do it. Oh, Heavenly Father, if you agree with that, say that. Oh, Heavenly Father, I come before you now, and I do long for more of you. And so, Lord, this day, the day before the 25th, I come before you. And I lay out my sins. In my mind, I remember those that I know trouble me all the time. Little things even, that over and over, that I don't want to do, that I do. I lay them out before you, Lord. And I'm asking you, Holy Spirit, to show me ones I don't know. And Lord, please forgive me. Please wa wash all that away as I close out this year. And Lord, straighten my path. Cause me to walk in new places of righteousness. Cause me to run across people who I can identify with and I can share you with. Come into my heart today 
in a new way. Let me be truly born again. Born again, I receive you, Lord, as my Lord, as my Savior, as my healer, my redeemer. I invite you in to live in my soul, my spirit, my mind, my heart, moving my hands with mercy and compassion and kindness, my feet, maybe even in very unusual places, seeking the lost to lead them. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Now, I'm born again. Amen. Amen means so be it, so be what I just said. Amen. And by faith, by faith, I'm going to ask you to open up your Bible <clears throat> and put this date down and look at your watch. What time was it when you said this prayer? Put it down like you would your birth date. If I ask you what's your birth date, write it down. You could do that right now. Well, this is your born again birth date. That prayer. Write it down. You're going to want to know the rest of your life exactly when it happened. It will help you. It will help you. Father God, I want to thank you for those who prayed right now and who will pray those coming, whoever listens to this all the way through, they will hear it. Bring many souls to you today, Lord. Bring many new souls into your church, into your kingdom, <clears throat> your precious kingdom. And we're rejoicing. We're rejoicing by faith. We're rejoicing. Father God, we hold up Israel. We hold up your Jewish people. You're bringing them home. How exciting. You are fulfilling now the last of all these prophecies. And we get to see it. We're alive to watch it happen. How exciting. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your great plan that is continuing to roll out in Israel, even though there are some tough times coming yet for her, <clears throat> you are rolling it all out and preparing, <clears throat> excuse me, to send your son Yeshua back, back. And as we read today, he will rule and reign. He is the branch that's all capital letters. He will rule and reign forever. And ever. Hallelujah. Father, we hold up America and others are holding up other countries. Hold them up. Hold the rulership up. Hold the people up. Father God, I hold America up. And Lord, you certainly are teaching us a lot of lessons with what's going on at the top supposedly the top of our government. Wow. You are opening our eyes, our ears. We are realizing, uh, for me, I'm realizing it was it's much worse than I thought. But Father God, you are using it all. You are using it all, good and bad, to your glory. To your glory. And those who will stay firm in you. We are coming for great rewards, great blessings from you. And those who choose not, like we've just read, we just read it, they refused to obey. They refused to come to the Lord. You will deal with those, Lord. You will deal with those. So we thank you, Lord, for this brand new day. I'd ask that people traveling, Lord, put angels all around them, that they will be safe, safe in your arms. Cause families to come together this year more and better than ever before. Old things 
passed away, old arguments and all that gone. Father, bring a spirit of peace and joy amongst all your people and all those who don't know you yet, a peace and joy. And let us truly sing unto you, pray unto you, appreciate all that you've given us. You have given us till we're spoiled rotten. And we want to thank you, Lord. We're going to appreciate and give you great thanksgiving. All God's people, quite a hearty amen and went about this beautiful day. I love you all so much. Bye-bye.